Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to talk about that page variant uh, with the help of condition. In our previous video, we talked about that page variant. So we talk about the category page here. We created a second variant called non-admin and based on the audiences, we are redirecting them to the different different variant. Now today we are talking about the condition based on condition, how we can redirect them to a different variant. So to talk about that one, um, we will talk about that sub pages or we will talk about that um, viewport because uh, this is the same condition you can apply for your normal pages or you can use the, your sub pages. So somebody in my uh, YouTube comment that how they want, they want to know that how the condition can be applied on to their sub pages. So I'm going to build based on the sub pages. So here, if you see that we we are talking about that categories admin pages in this category admin pages we have a one um, basically sub page so we have a viewport under this viewport we have a sub page so if i go back here under this viewport uh, so we have two um, sub pages and mainly we are work working on this category content default that is sub page that we are uh, mainly working on that so now we want to create another variant here. So this is the main variant inside that we want to create another variant and based on certain condition we want to redirect. So this is going to be exactly same happens to your normal page. But I want to create the condition based on the sub pages, but you can apply on your main pages also. So let's talk about that. So what we are talking about that based on condition or based on certain condition, uh, we want to redirect them to which page they want to. So this is the category content item page. Here I am going to create another sub pages so that they can redirect to the different pages. What should be the condition? Let's first decide there. So this category content page, if you see that this content page actually hold you all this content item like office. Uh, you can see when you click that uh, software or peripherals based on your uh, condition or based on your category or peripheral this content item actually render right so based on your uh, mm, whatever input you are passing so this is the sub page in this sub page we are passing some category sys id based on the category sys id it is rendering this content item now based on certain condition we don't want to go to the default we want to redirect them to different pages or different uh, you could say that different variant how can i do that right to do that i have created a field called type basically in this type we have two field one is the item another is the uh, other so if the item uh, if the category have a item um, then we are going to redirect them to one page if the category value have other we are going to redirect them to the different pages so we are going to pass that item or other based on this type or based on this we are going to redirect them to a different page so if I want to create a uh, variant page and based on condition I, if I want to redirect them to a different different variant, what I have to do, I have to understand one thing. What is the thing? I had to create or I had to have one mandatory parameter. Based on the mandatory parameter, I can only redirect them to different page. So if you see that this uh, category page does not have any mandatory parameter or any required parameter. Okay. So if the page doesn't have any required parameter, we cannot redirect them to a uh, condition based on the condition. So we had to have some condition, a mandatory condition, or you can say the required condition. Based on the required condition, we can redirect them to a uh, variant, uh, variant condition page, or we can choose the variant, okay? So let's say I'm going to create a required parameter called type. So let's say I'm going to create a required parameter called type okay and based on the type we are saying that they will go to the different pages okay so right now i have two variant one is the default variable right so let me first save that required parameter so we have right now required parameter is type you can see what will be the new url new url will be now demo category content then it will be a type either it should be a uh, item or it should be a other so depending on item or other, we will select this page variant. It should be go to that item page or other page. And then we will pass the ID. That ID is actually uh, our optional parameter called category. And based on that, we'll fetch that. So let me save this one. Let's first save that. So this has been saved. Now, here we are going to define that page variant condition. 
So if you go to these condition sections and if you scroll down a little bit, if you see the condition can only include required parameter. So whatever is your required parameter, that can be only applied to your condition parameter. Now, one is the thing if you see that the type, from where this type is coming, type is coming actually from this uh, required parameter we have created just before. So we have created a one parameter called type and that could be anything like it's a string. So it, I'm thinking that I'm going to pass that either uh, a item or other so that I can uh, put here in the condition and based on the condition I can redirect them to a different pages. So let's say that I'll put called type equal to equal to if it is type equal to equal to item then I will redirect them to this category content page or you can say that uh, category content instead of default I would say the item. So if that uh, the value or parameter value required parameter value type equal to equal to item then I will redirect them to category content item a variant page let's save that. So now if you see that I have put the um, so make sure that you don't put the double um, uh, equal to it should be type equal to item. So category content item this page this page will be run if the type equal to equal to or type equal to item. Next we can create another variant so let's say I'm going to create another variant so I'll quickly create another variant uh, from the scratch. the condition directly we can put the type equal to other okay or we can put the type not equal to item anything so we'll put that and then simply click the create so you can see that we have two uh, right now can uh, variant one is the type equal to item and then this one is type equal to other in this editor I can just put one um, simple uh, things and try that Now if you see that it's not rendering um, uh, the thing. Why? Because it have a required parameter. We have a required parameter called type and until unless we put that required parameter it won't load. So let's say I'm putting call you can see other details is uh, rendering. Now let's go back to the settings. Uh, before that we can simply save that and then let's go back to the settings. So right now we have two variant. One is our we can we could say that um, uh, content item. Another is the default other. And then this is our URL. We can simply copy this one and try to see that it's working or not first. So in top URL, I just put that instead of this place here I uh, type. I just hard coded other and it rendered the other. Let's say if I put item and see what happens and say such that you can see the content details are rendering so basically depending on our uh, url or depending on our condition it's working now we have to change little bit because this uh, this sub page are calling from our uh, viewport and from the buttons so from there we need to pass this parameter so let's put that so we'll go back here to our actual page the first thing is that this lookup records this is uh, fetching to that SC category table and with the condition we need to put call one more read we need to t uh, get a return of the type field so we'll get this type field and click OK so now u underscore type field will return if you see that if we open anything we are receiving type as an item and some cases we'll get that type equal to other so we are started getting that and this is our button so whenever the button uh, let's go back to and uh, change to the page load so this is our page load whenever the page load is working so this is our page load is working here we are not neither passing any optional parameter and not passing any uh, required parameter but as this have a required parameter system will throw an error so we'll copy these things delete that and then go and then call again this one and then paste the whole code and this time we are going to pass type so we'll pass the type equal to initially call item okay so this is hard coded whenever the page is loaded okay so we are saying that whenever the page will be loaded we are going to pass that type equal to item 
okay and then what we are saying that in this button or whenever the button will be clicked we are also calling this viewport uh, this content so we'll copy this code again delete this and then add this event handler and this time uh, what we are going to do that we are going to uh, pass this to uh, here item dot value dot csid dot value so here we will pass that in a parameter we will pass that call item and what should be the value of item or from where we'll get that we'll get event dot context dot item dot value dot u underscore type dot value from there we'll get that we'll copy this whole thing and paste here and this time we will just put u underscore type instead of sys id because that the field name is called u underscore type from there we'll get that we'll just do that and required parameter will be go to under fields and then optional parameter is will go to under uh, you know um, params let's add this one let's save that and let's see it what it is working and if we go to this category page you can see by default it is working or opening to our content item page because this office type is item so if you select that office type is so if we click here um, actually it did not refresh any of this list why let's see if we go back to here our main screen let's see what condition we have put um, so if we see that condition of this page uh, we have applied condition here right so let's go to the settings and if you see that the condition we have applied call um, item and then other they are in small letter but in our actually in that list we have a capital letter so let me go back here to our sc underscore category here if you see that this item these all are in actually capital letter um, so i is in capital and o is in capital so it's a case sensitive so we had to deal with that so let's do that so we'll just go to this any of this record and update the choice go um, and then show choice list this uh, value R in capital letter will update that So if you select business peripheral or business application or peripheral it will go to the other page and if you select that office or software it should go to the item page and also if you see that here under this field section this is the required parameter key so we are actually passing as a item no this should not be item this should be our actually called a uh, uh, type so we'll go and paste our code again and then instead of item we'll type call a uh, type and let's add let's save all right so if we click office you can see office are working software is working now if you go to this peripheral other details page are calling because of this uh, you know our page condition so depending on the condition we can actually uh, put some input and then we can do that also one thing i just want to show before we end there so if you go to this edit conditions and go and open the settings okay and then here go to this any of this category content item there is a scripted screen condition you can also do some scripting under this section to do advanced condition so we have done that variant condition we have put small parameter condition but if you want to do more condition or more scripting you can do under the scripted screen section so that's it for today if you have any question let me know in my comment section thank you very much have a great day